Betty. Betty, are you listening to me? What? Yeah, um, I think it's a good idea. See, that's how I know you're not listening. You would never say that I had a good idea. Sorry, I was just thinking. What's wrong? Nothing, just something. Betty, I know you. What is it? It's just something I never said. Oh, so it's actually nothing. James. Come on, you know you can't believe a word she says. I know, but... Okay, so what unbelievable rumor did she make up this time? Did she see me kissing Mr. Carter because I swear it was for extra credit? <laughs> You're so... Adorable, handsome, perfect... Stupid. Wow, I thought you loved me. Did you try the cake? Basic vanilla cake for my favorite basic bitch. No, I'm not really hungry. Come on, I spent all night making it. Okay, let me see some. I hate you. I thought you loved me. Why can't you work on this later? James, this is our future. I don't understand how you're not more stressed. Because I see my future right in front of me. Shut up. I mean it. The way I feel about you is different. I'm sure you say that to every girl. No, I mean it. Every time I look at you, I'm reminded of just how lucky I am to be with the most beautiful girl in the world. I mean, you're so smart. I mean, you seem to have everything planned out, and you make me want to be a better person. That's how I know that you're my future. And if you're the only constant thing in my life, I'm okay with that, because I just want you. I want you to be in my life. James. So, you're really not a trauma girl, huh? Where are we gonna go? Betty. I love you. I love you. I love you, Betty. I love you. I love you! James, get in! What are you doing? I'm offering to give you a ride. Let's go. I'm fine, thanks. Come on! Let's drive! It'll be fun! I'm sure Betty won't mind. So, where are you going? I'm getting Betty a gift. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Hmm. I'm serious. I love her. Okay, and? Plenty of guys have told me that, and then they give me a pretty necklace, and the next thing I know, Inez is telling me they slept with every other basic bitch at our school. Well, I'm not like that. Carly, Sally, Gabby, Max, Amelia, Nova, Sarah. Not anymore. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. And you'll already have a great apology gift for Betty. Okay, let me out of the car. I'm kidding. Let me out. Betty? Archer, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm good. Uh, what have you been up to? Um, I'm just picking up some stuff for Nessie's party. I said I'd help. Are you going tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, if you're going, then maybe I'll make an appearance. So I'm assuming you have a date? Yeah, um... Hey, Archer. You ready to go? You two are dating still. Yeah, uh, I'll see you later, Archer. Bye. What was that? What was what? With Archer. Everybody knows that he's in love with you. So do you not trust me? What? James, do you really think I would pursue him? He's just a friend. I love you. I was just making sure that he knew that we were together. Well, you embarrassed me. I think you're being a little dramatic. I love you. I said I needed the food here by 8. It is currently 8.01 and I'm still sandwichless. Fix it. Hold, please. You're early. We wanted to help set up. Here, finish putting the drinks over there. And if you're here early, we're gonna talk. Yeah, no problem, I got it. So did you see who Jesse was with last night? Who's Jesse? Your ex-friend's sister, what's her name? Um, Caroline. Anyways, did you see who Jesse met last night? 
And as I really don't... Peter? The guy you hooked up with last year? Anyways, Rebecca sent me the photos. She was there last night with Augustine and trust, he could do better. All the outfits were terrible, like 2003 unbearable. You wanna see the photos? You know what, I'm really okay, thanks though. Okay, so fill me in on you and James because no one thought you were gonna make it this far. <laughs> we're great, he's great. And that's all you need to know. I'm sorry, do I know you? This is Betty. James's girl. Yep, that's my man's. Is he here? Yeah, he's just getting some drinks. Okay. I'll be right back. <sighs> so I saw you over there. Didn't seem like you were having much fun. You know, James is just James. Well, it's not here now. James! Just the guy I wanted to see. Hey, Nash. So, who'd you sleep with? What? You've been dating Betty for four months, and just between you and me, I don't think she's that good in bed. Not cheating on Betty, and even if I was, why would I tell you? So, you two are actually happy? Yes. And you're totally fine with her and Archer's friendship and the fact that they are together right now? You still want to give me that ride? What? Where did James go? Oh, I saw him go outside. And you didn't say anything? Didn't know I had to. Rebecca, have you seen James? He left. What? He looked upset. Why? Why would I know? No, no, no. Good morning. What did Inez put in those drinks? I didn't, I didn't drink that much. Well, maybe I did. James. No one can know about this, especially not Inez. James, we never went home. We're in her house. Are you serious? What were you thinking? What was I thinking? You're the one who dragged me in here. I was drunk. You should have never slept with a drunk person. I do it again. Oh my god. You can't deny it was good. I bet Betty doesn't do that for you. You have to leave out the window. Who cares if someone finds out? If you keep your mouth shut, maybe we can do this again sometime. Oh? Just make sure nobody sees you. And you get to parade out of here? Inez knows I was drinking. I'll just say that I got drunk and crashed here, so just go! I don't know. She went home last night. Then I still here. I got dr drunk and passed out, I guess. So you weren't with anybody? Nope, just me. Hey. Hey! What happened last night? Where did you go? Uh, sorry, I passed out in Inez's room. Why were you in her room? I thought it was the bathroom. So how much did you drink? Clearly too much. Do you want to come over and watch a movie, maybe? Um, sorry, I'm busy. Uh, maybe tomorrow? Okay, maybe tomorrow. What is this? Flowers. The most beautiful girl in the world. Augustine, I didn't know you had a boyfriend. I wouldn't call him that. Tell your friend you're out for a rush. It'll be flush when you return. Does Betty know where you are right now? Why does it matter? I mean, I thought this is what you wanted. I mean, in my ideal world, we're not meeting behind malls and hiding from everyone. You can leave if you want. And do what? I think you know. Do you want to stay over at my house tonight? 
Why? Why not? I mean, we're gonna hang out tomorrow anyways, so why even go home? Or do you just want an excuse to be with me? What's so wrong with that? You love me. So is that a yes? I would never say no to you. I mean, you're the only girl I want. We're watching Love Actually. It's July. And it's the greatest love story of all time. We should watch 10 Things I Hate About You. Absolutely not. I'm sure I can convince you. I love you. I love you too. His hands are in my hair and his clothes are in my room. And Buddy still doesn't know. Nope. Honestly, I don't know why James just didn't drop the bitch at this point. Oh well. You ready? Actually, I'm gonna stay in tonight. Why? Literally everyone's gonna be there. I'm just waiting for a call from James. I can hear the bells! <laughs> Augustine! Hi! Um, hey, Miss. Sit down. We should really go. So, how long has this been going on? What? Since the party, right? You guys are really loud. How does Betty feel about this whole arrangement? She doesn't know. No? I think she does. Betty, I promise it is nothing. There is nothing going on between Augustine and I. James, save me the pity story. I know you slept with her at Inez's party. I know you guys have been sneaking around. I know you! I knew you would do it! I wanted you to change. I thought it would be different for us. Betty, it is. I love you. And I don't care about her. She was just there and I was drunk. I love you too, but... No, no, Betty, no. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Betty, please, please. It was- Hey, what happened? We're through. I'm so sorry, James, but maybe it's for the best. We won't have to sneak around anymore. No, we're done. You should go home. No, not without you. You thought we had something special? You were just there and I was bored. It was enough for me. Wanting you was enough for me and I finally feel like I have you, so please don't leave me. This is your fault. I lost the love of my life because of you. You came to me. I didn't force you to do anything. It was your choice. And clearly I made the wrong one. with the touch of your hand, paper cuts sting from our paper thin plans. My time, my wine, my spirit, my trust, trying to find a part of me that you didn't take up. Gave up too much, but it wasn't enough. I'll be all right, it's just a thousand cuts. I get drunk, but it's not enough. I look through the windows of this love even though we boarded them up. She 
chandeliers still flicker in here. Because I, I can't pretend it's okay when it's not. No, it's not. It's death by a thousand cuts. I'm trying to find a part of me that you didn't touch. My body, my love, my trust. Traffic lights if it'll be all right. They say I don't know. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. But if I show up at your party, will you have me? Will you love me? I know you're ignoring me for a reason, but please just hear me out. What we did was wrong. We should have never snuck around behind Betty, but it's your fault as much as it is mine. But we were something, don't you think? I hate just sneaking around and not really having you, but for you, I do it forever. I know you were never mine to lose, but I miss you already. So much for summer love and saying us. Please just give me another chance, James. Please give us another chance. I love you. I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye. I wanted to give you this. It's from James. You can keep it. He hasn't talked to me. We're done. Do you want me to be sorry? Take the necklace, Betty. He was never mine. He's always been yours. make any assumptions about why you switched your homeroom, but I know it's my fault. I can't stand the thought of you being mad at me, so here I am, at your doorstep, and I've planned it out for a week, so here it goes. Betty, the worst thing that I've ever done is what I did to you, and it was a mistake, okay? I mean, sure, I was drunk, but that's no excuse. I was actually on my way to get you a gift because I couldn't stop thinking about you. No matter how hard I tried, I still can't stop thinking about you. But then she pulled up and told me to get in, and those days turned into nights, and I slept next to her. But I only dreamt of you. I swear, the only person that I've dreamt of is you. Most nights I can't sleep because it hurts me to know how much I hurt you. I can't lose you forever, Betty. I promise that I will be better. I promise that I will do better and I will never do anything like this ever again. The only thing that I want to do is make it up to you. You're so... Stupid, ignorant, and foolish. 
rumble hands on purpose. 